Do you wonder what the number 444 means in the Bible? First, we need to understand that the Hebrew language is a very unique language. And oftentimes, most of the time, the names in the Hebrew have numbers that correlate with the names. And so when we understand this, we know, before we talk about the number four, that the number three is the number for the Trinity. Trinity being God, three persons in one. Trinity, the triune being, is where we get it's where we get uh, that terminology from. God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Those three being in one. And so that's where three comes from, the number Trinity. And so four, then, going with number three, simply means the creation, with three having to deal with the Creator, being the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, those three. So number four is dealing with the creation. That's the number of creation, four. Four has to do with the four elements of the world, the earth, air, fire, water, the four regions of the earth, north, south, east, west, sea. These things have to do with creation. Four, three plus one, the Creator, God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, creation, number four. See, so when we're talking about four, 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 this is four to an extreme level. It's four with a strong emphasis on it. What does that mean, you say? Four, four, four is the world number. See, we're talking about that creation, that creation, the world. 444 is the world number. And if we look closely, we see that the number for Damascus, that world number is 444. Remember when we talked about the language of Hebrew having numbers that correlate with names. It's 444. That is Damascus, the world number for the oldest city in the world.